What's up, everybody? It's Weezy, and I'm back with another one. Boom. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Okay, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you already know what to do, guys. Please hit the subscribe button, okay? <laughs> so, guys, you already know how I do. I get straight into it. So, let's get it, guys, okay? So, Quavo and Takeoff done dropped the new song, okay? It's called Messy. And in that song, Quavo said this. You can't stand up in my session. Get out. I said, Carisha, please. Cause she too messy. Please. Fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. You wanted the gang, you should have just said it. We would have blessed it. So, y'all heard that, right? Okay. So, apparently, everybody thinks Quavo is talking about Offset. I don't think he's talking about Offset, guys. I just don't. Okay, because that's hitting too close to home. Don't y'all think that? I mean, if it really did happen, Migos would have ended a long time ago. Why now? I don't think it was offset. I really don't think it's offset. Okay, offset bought out of his contract because he is having problems with P from QC. And the other two guys that's in his group, Quavo and Takeoff, they don't see that. And Quavo and Takeoff don't see that P is causing any issues among the group. So Offset bought out of his contract. He couldn't take it no more. He left. So he's no longer part of the Migos. He don't have a problem with the guys. But of course, you know, the, something happened. I don't know what happened. But their friendship is rocky. The Migos friendship is rocky. Because Offset left the group. So Quavo feels some type of way because Offset left when it's supposed to be the tree amigos, however you say it in Spanish, okay? Not the dulce amigos. So yeah, I feel Quavo for being upset with Offset about that, you know, because they're supposed to be dogs they're supposed to be brothers they got a brotherhood going on and he up and left so you know i don't want to get too much into that because i don't really know everything it's just common sense stuff but i do know this guys i don't know if y'all peep game but offset been having problems with p from quality control qc for a little hot minute because every time the Migos as in Quavo take off and offset would drop a new song P would only post Quavo and take off part did y'all ever peep that comment down below if y'all peep that this has been going on for the past year or two P has not been posting Offset at all. So, Offset, Quavo, their problem is not over no chick. It's over loyalty. So, y'all need to, the internet needs to cut that, cut that out, thinking it's Offset. Okay? Because y'all already know they're not good detectives. They're over here thinking p and B's girlfriend posted a location that caused his death. And y'all see, that was all wrong. Okay? So you can't believe everything the internet detectives 
say. You got to do your own. You got to think for yourself. Now, the second person that the internet think that Quavo was talking about is Lil Baby. Now, that's who I think it is. Okay, guys? Lil Baby. Now, I don't know if y'all remember this picture of him and Sweetie inside a store. You got Sweetie sitting on top of his lap. But Sweetie only posted part of his leg. And the internet detectives peep that it was Lil Baby that she was with. Lil Baby done took her on a shopping spree. And I don't know if y'all remember, Jada was on an interview over there at Hollywood Unlock, and she confirmed it. She confirmed it. She got the store cashiers or whatever. She got people working at the store, called her and let her know that baby was over there taking Sweetie on a shopping spree. Okay? And this is after her and Quavo broke up. Don't forget Quavo and Lil Baby are on the same record label. They're in QC. Quality control. So they gotta be friends or they was friends. There was homies or something. I know they know each other because they're on the same record label. Then, another reason why I think it's Little Baby Little Baby got a song called Right On. I believe that's what it's called, Right On. And he says in the song, You mad at me about a bitch that's fucking both of us. Isn't that enough proof right there? That was enough proof for me right there. Like, th that was, when Baby said that, that was enough proof to let me know that Quiver was mad at him for screwing Sweetie. I wish Quiver would just Say the name. Just drop the name. You're making a whole song about the man. Just drop the name. Because everybody's trying to find out who is you talking about. But I believe it's Lil Baby. But sweetie. Sweetie. Girl, you can't be messing with men on the same record label, sweetie. Why would you do that? That look messy. That look real messy. <sighs> but anyways, guys, I'm gonna close out my video, okay? Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Who y'all think Quavo was talking about? Who do you think? Because it can't be offset. That's just too close to home. And another thing, he, he already had his last straw. One more cheating, like, he, he's on the road to divorce. Cardi B just had enough of embarrassment. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? And I will catch y'all in another video. This is Wheezy signing out. Peace.